is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. It's Monday. We are finally back for another grocery haul, a meal plan, a question of the day. We've also got an update on the two features that we're hosting on our channel in the month of January, a pantry challenge and also a healthy eating challenge. We hope all of y'all had a wonderful Christmas and we'll have a very happy new year. Got the grocery haul from Kroger for you first. I'm going to try to have very small hauls in the month of January from Kroger while we are cleaning out our pantry and fridge. But I've got that for you next. Be sure to stick around for a fun new question of the day and an update about the features at the end. Have a blessed day, y'all. We're back from Kroger. I stuck to my list. I'm going to try to cut back in the month of January and only buy essentials and cook more from the pantry and our freezer. I have not been to Sam since before Christmas and Tim was running low on milk, so I did go ahead and get him a gallon of organic milk and orange juice, which is for me, like coffee, it's the one thing I have every morning. I got a couple things of shredded cheese, one big block of cheese, that I turned around wrong, one big block of cheese. The eggs are on sale this week at my Kroger. We didn't really need any, but they're 88 cents a dozen and we can always use them for something. I got very few pantry stables. I used all my green beans at Christmas, all my sunflower seeds making crunchy slaw, and most of the aluminum foil in the house covering up leftovers. I also needed a can of tomato sauce and this tri-bean bouillon. That is for a recipe. Um, I did find a couple of items. There hadn't been any free Friday downloads lately, but I did find two items in a clearance bin. One was in the refrigerated. It's a little Chobani flip that's good until January 6th, so I got that for 49 cents. And I got Tim some Starbucks ground coffee. Normally we grind his beans, but he's gonna use this. He does like a dark roast, actually it's a French roast or a dark roast. And I did also resupply my pantry with this favorite flavor infusion, Spanish rice, every time we have Taco Tuesdays. I've talked about that product before. And tortilla chips for some taco salads. Everything else is produce. My one score was this big bag of navel oranges was marked down to $1. The cabbage is for New Year's Day black eyed peas, cornbread and cabbage, and Tim will have turnip greens. I need some onions. Red potatoes are on sale this week at my Kroger for 79 cents, as are the mangoes and the avocados. I think they were 77 cents each, and two small apples, so a very small haul. Hopefully that will be the plan for the month. I've got a menu for the week next. The menu this week, I am going to try in the month of January to combine two, at least two meals that satisfy the pantry challenge and two meals that satisfy the healthy new you collaboration. That's going to be difficult, but I'm going to do the best I can. Um, Saturday, I actually cooked a meal from our pantry. I was tired of leftovers. You will see that in next week's um, What's for Dinner video. I'm still not feeling well, so Tim did cook for me some breakfast food Sunday, which is pretty much our norm if you've watched here before. Monday is New Year's Eve. We're not really celebrating anything, plus I'm sick, so I'm just going to start with the healthy eating challenge. Even though it's not technically January, I'm gonna fix a big salad and grill some chicken. Probably gonna try grilling the chicken in the air fryer rather than sending Tim outside on the outdoor grill. Tuesday is New Year's Day. We do the traditional Southern pork product, black eyed peas, some kind of green. I'm going to fix cabbage for me because I don't eat turnip greens and we will probably forego the traditional cornbread. Wednesday I'm going to try to cook out of my pantry. I've got a box of, is it Krusty's cornbread mix and I had several people ask about the white chicken chili that I made a few weeks ago so I may make that again. I've always got those ingredients on hand. Thursday is our normal day for leftovers. Um, things may get switched out. We actually may be eating out on Wednesday. I'll either do leftovers on Thursday or a Mexican quinoa dish is something I've made before. That will be my second meal of the week that satisfies the healthy new you collaboration. And we will also try to do another pantry meal on Saturday. I've still got a lot, a lot of those frozen ravioli from Sam's. I've got several cans of tomatoes. I can make a homemade red sauce and crescent rolls and salads. So I'm going to endeavor to stick to that this week. We will see how it goes, see how I feel. As always, these meals are subject to change based on uh, our schedule. And if I'm sick, Tim's not gonna cook these and stick to it. I will be eating Sonic or canned soup. Hopefully we will stick to this and I've got a question for you next. Our final question of the day for the year 2018 is about New Year's. 
We have done Thanksgiving questions, we've done Christmas questions, so we'll ask really quick, what are your New Year's plans? Ours are not exciting, it's basically a non-event in our house, but maybe some of you are hosting a party, maybe you're going to a party, maybe you have traditions that you do with your family or your kids, maybe you uh, watch movies, do games, um, shoot fireworks. I'm usually in bed by midnight, I'm really, and this year I'm sick, so. New Year's is not much going on around here, but leave us a comment with your answer. What do you got planned for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? We'd love to hear what kind of traditions and things you have going on with your family. I've got an update about the two features on our channel, the Pantry Challenge and the Healthy Eating Challenge, Healthy Recipe Collaboration, next. This is something you don't get to see very often. This is my very unorganized, very messy pantry. I do have a fair amount of OXO and glass containers. And as you can see, my pantry is pretty overstuffed. This is why we're doing the pantry challenge. That's the floor and stuff is just thrown down there. So I will be going through my pantry and my freezer, making a inventory and working on the meals. And I will show you some of that next. I'll show you the freezer, which is equally disorganized. And our freezer is stocked as well. had some grandiose ideas about going through, which I kind of did in my chicken scratch and writing out what I had to work with in the pantry and the freezers. And I was going to write it up really legible instead of my chicken scratch, which you can't really read and share it with you guys. But I've been sick, so I have not felt like that. If you're interested in that, I can make a separate video and expound upon both of these, both the pantry challenge and the healthy new you challenge and some recipes and ideas and things that I'm looking at doing. I have bantered around for quite a while the idea of doing a meal planning video. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Have a blessed day y'all. See you in the next video.